<laughs> I, I will have a lot of cute little sweat wrap on, on, on Popstar. What the human? Nago, Rick, Choo Choo. Koo, forgot your name, and kind and gooey. Welcome everybody to Kirby's Dreamland 3. This is the last of the Dreamland trilogy, and well, one of the uh, one of the most beautiful games on the NES, or the SNES, having a beautiful pastel style that not many games I really tried. Later, uh, I'm just trying to find a good image of the guide, so I can tell you about it, the, the story. <gasps> this game is one of the few games that is, <gasps> that is Dream Course, uh, fully co-op. Made actually to play, be played with multiple people. Hooray! That is the po- as you can tell with Gooey. Just give me a sec and I'll tell you the story. Uh, I think that's, that's good. Is that it? Alright, Harry, our hero, makes his home in Dreamland, which is located on Popstar. Popstar is a small peaceful planet on the edge of the vast universe. One day, Kirby and Gooey went fishing. Birds were singing, the sun was shining. It was just a nice day, but they felt like nap more, more like napping than fishing. Uh, give me a sec. Uh, do -do 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 -do. When Kirby and Gooey relaxed, they noticed a black cloud-like object appeared in Popstar sky. The black object started to spit out small clouds. These clouds were scattered everywhere. Just then, the crew appeared, looking panicked. Hurry, hurry, Kirby! He said, "Popstar's in big trouble." And that's the end of the uh, that's the end, I guess, of the manual. Okay. <coughs> yeah, this game is pretty cool. Uh, having and also this game seriously benefits from the CRT. Like that was a uh. A little bonus file that I did just to test how it will play. But yeah, let's start. Level 1. Start! We're going to the. By the way, if you want to see what it looks like without it, just uh, give me a sec. Here's what it looks like. Very different. Also, I apparently had S video, the wrong filter. Oops. Yeah. Very different looking. I'm just turning on the filter again so I can show you. That's with the, uh, with the, C with the CRT filter. And here's what happens when you turn on the composite. Boom! One of the beautiful, most beautiful games I've seen. Thanks you, Dithering. And choo-choo! But yeah, this game adds basically three new, uh, things. Also, level one, the grasslands. This introduces the new, uh, mechanic, which I will show later, but... I love this gra the graphics of this game, seriously. This was a SNES game. This was an N64. This is like way before Paper Mario. I think it was, but I do know it's like one of the rarest NES game, like SNES games of all time because it's like literally one of the last. I think it might be the last. Anyways, Kirby has cutter. Can throw cutter. Oh, I just noticed his mouth inside of the uh, the spit. Uh, well, that's been quite right possible. But yeah. This is a friend area. We have two new friends. We have the returning Rick, which Rick can uh, press the top button. I think it's uh, X. You can throw. You can get Rick. You can throw. Uh, you like a like a cutter. You can see Nago, who is uh, in. Get off him with the X button. And let's use Nago, because Nago is really cool. Basically, having a double jump. Rick now has a wall jump. And scale walls, but Nago can double jump, and it's also twice as fast. It has a freaking flash kick. All right, so I'm choosing Nago because this is cooler than a freaking than what it was. These are blocks that can only be destroyed by Cutter, so pass it out of the way. Ow. Also, uh, 
this game is technically a step down from Superstar in uh, get the mechanic standpoint, because we're back to singular abilities that can uh, can only do one thing and a bunch of other stuff. But it's still pretty cool, like because they, they make up for it in its art style and copy abilities. Well, the uh, the animal friends, I mean, which should make a return one day. Seriously, I think I've forgotten land and everything. And let's show Parasol. With Nago, Parasol becomes a freaking jabbing move. Where he jumps and stabs the ground. Boing, boing. I'm pretty good. I also think there's another wall doing this. Boing, 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 boing. Hello, Bontover. Boing. You can get a single one. Okay, you're not going to But, let's get the spark. And. What he does is he scratches Kirby's back, kind of like uh, building a stack of electricity, causing Kirby to, and Nago to turn invulnerable. It's just sprinting through everything that they touch for a little bit, being pretty darn good. Ow. <coughs> Alright. Okay, enemies still have health bars, I guess. In this area is pretty important. Avoid the tulips. This is a new mechanic called the heart system. What each mission has a certain bonus objective that can be done. This one is not is don't step on the flowers. If you step on the flowers, you lose and have to restart the entire mission again. But with Nago, that's not too hard. There's also the easiest mission in the game. Remember, right? Also, I like how Nago looks carrying Kirby. It's like a cool, it's a ball of yarn. Also, one of the best. Also, by the way, this game has one of the best soundtracks in the in the series. My personal opinion. Also, the best version of King Dedede's theme. Don't at me. <coughs> oh, oh, almost hit that plant. And also, it's much harder to get extra lives in this game with the stars. But if we get all of those, we have this guy. Or this tulip. Give us a give us a heart. Which that we can use to Oh, well, we leave. Which gives us a leaping area. Leap wink. That was un unintentional entirely. We can get ourselves a one. And a little heart appears there. Next up. Or, or two. Now it's completely blind for me. Oh, uh eat that and the her broom, and you get the broom ability. Or clean. Broom is a or clean is a, an ability that uh, is unique to this game and uh, oh, and Star Allies. Depending on which ability to use, depending it depends on what uh what you use. For instance, with Nago, it's kind of like a it's kind of like a sweeper. Let's drop it though and get ourselves stone. With stone, Nago just uses Kirby's a freaking mallet. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Donk, donk. Nope, quick. Eat the witch's broom. Scrub, 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 scrub. Scrub, 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 scrub. Oh, fire. Let's see what fire is for Nago. Oh, it's a freaking firewall. Alright. And here is two new characters. Oh, I need that. Bye, Nago. Here's Choo Choo. Choo Choo with fire basically just turns Kirby into a freaking flamethrower. <sighs> oh, yeah, I, forgot to, I forgot to show off fire with, uh, with, uh, that. It just turns into a fireball. Oh, wait. Oh, it doesn't turn you into a flamethrower. It turns into a hot air balloon. So you hold up. Or, uh, or something. Yeah, you hold up in the air. Or you hold up, uh, both buttons and you can turn uh, Choo Choo into a hot air balloon. Also, Choo Choo canonically, ha I think, has a crush on Kirby. But, let's show off Pitch, I think its name is. Pitch of the Flamethrower turns into a freaking guided missile. Charging stars! But we need Choo Choo for this. Choo Choo, I think, is like one of the better uh, characters in this game. Because like, it basically has the ability to fly. Of stone with this with Choo Choo. Choo Choo and Stone basically just returns to a, a wrecking mallet. 
And here is the new area. We need Choo Choo's base lick. Or, uh, ability, basically, will, which will cause, uh, him to become happy. In blush. And now, at the end of the mission, we should get ourselves a heart. <coughs> Trailer says him, Alec. He's like, she's using me as like a, uh, one of those ball things. Why? There's that guy! So that's where he comes from. He appeared in the anime in Paris the name is Chef, but I was wondering where he, what game he came from, because I've always wondered that. Like Poyon or something like that? Smash. And. Okay, she has a glide, basically. And a one up. Ow, frickin'. No, oh, hey, a warthog. I think. Oh, there's a new ability Spike. Choo choo basically causes your, you to chew out a spike explosion. But normally you just turn into a spike ball. No, I have a lot of pain. You are a lot more evil looking than you do with later games. Ow, freaking. Screw you. Ow, freaking. I'm gonna just destroy it. <coughs> Let's get over here. Oh. I'm so cute and lovable! I'm totally not gonna stab you in the back. Uh, bad thing I just shot in the face, but now that we gave the, the it, well, licked it basically, they made it bluish, we can get ourselves another one, another's heart. Let's see what we get. Wing! And we got the, the frowny face. Frowny face basically means we get nothing. Next up is Hello. I can learn the rest of the game. I can think I'm happy. I don't know where I am. Oh hey, Spark. I saw Spark with Choo Choo. Spark with Choo Choo basically just turns her into a la into laser. Oh she gets the laser ability. And also can charge it, too. Which well, she has with the balance, I guess. That's really freaking good actually. Let's see what's in here. So I'm guessing it's just different, uh, different characters. Oh, hey, there's Kine. And Koo. Koo, basically with Spark, just uh, same, but a lot weaker. They nerf Koo a lot. And Kine is the same as always. They change his missile. No, it's no longer a missile. It's just a light bulb. It's horrible now. Why? We do need Kine later, but not today. I need you. Sorry, Koo. Kine and Koo. You're good, but... Choo Choo's just better. Let's see what this. So. Ow, freaking! I say that, and I'm about to lose Choo Choo. Scale the platforms. Avoid death. Oh, hey, look at Meta Mido. Thanks, game. Wow, thank you. Also, I like Kirby's face when the sand the other choo choo. It's really sweet. Die, pollen. Cause of allergies. Oh, and here it is. This is the Gordo throwing game. I don't know how to play. Okay, that was uh, this one. That's one. You need to get all three correct in order to see which one it is. You'll throw one. Let's see. And that was, I think. Ah, oh, frick. <coughs> I don't want to reset the stage, so I'm just going to try again. Yeah, that's totally this one. I had full eyes, but no. Alright. Got it! I totally cheated. That was the one I had one. And kaboom! We got a heart. That's three. These will get harder later. Oh my god! I forgot to break it up. up. Okay, you can't. Running of the bolt. Running of the pigs. And quadruple kill. <coughs> Spring. 
Chatsu. Oh, apparently I've earned uh, traits to Mario World. I freaking love this game. And we got ourselves the heart. So let's claim it. And that's half of uh, almost half the world one. Actually, no, there's half the world one. Whoop. We and get ourselves a, a full star. Whoop. Now we just need one more star. We get our one up. And it's what appears to be mini uh, uh, Ashley. Ah. It's like a cloud. <laughs> also, you no longer lose your ability when getting hit. Thanks, game. That's the us. They basically doubled your HP. Hello, Kaboo. Yum. Or Mega Kaboo. Hey. Oh, Choo Choo can climb walls! That's Choo Choo's ability. Even though Choo Choo is just really freaking good in general, so. This doesn't really come up that often. <laughs> Juju's just a great character. Also, a pretty prominent character in the manga. If you didn't know, there was a Kirby manga that came out decades ago. And Choo Choo is basically Kirby's main love interest in that. And that was the only other appearance of Choo Choo in anything. Hello, it's a Kappa. Please don't eat my, my, my insides. Also, here, what's this? Oh, Nago. I want to keep Choo Choo. I need the rock pillow power. Yeah, I'm away. I needed stone. I guess hopefully the stone later. Is there a pause screen? Ah, gotta love crayon drawings. Reminds me of children's drawings, and I freaking and I, I love it. Love crayon. Hello. Okay, I went the wrong one. Darn. Alright, please give me a rock. Ow, oh, my head. Thank you, game. We need you. Use rock, I guess it's true. And break through the floor. This will lead into us to the next area. Which gives us. Pepper, which does not heal as much as he used to. And... And a boss! Right, so let's get rid of our power. Where's the hot hand? Darn, I missed. I missed again? There, I hit that one. Uh, fun fact, there's only been really ever two love interests for Kirby, and it was Choo Choo and Adeline, which is in the next game. Fun fact, this is the... this, this might be the last of the Dreamland trilogy. This is, in fact, the second game in the Dark Matter trilogy. Which, the first game in the Dark Matter trilogy was actually the second game in, the, in, this, tril in this game. Because, yes, it's a trilogy inside of a trilogy. Wow, I'm sucking at hitting that. <coughs> Oop. Oh, one more hit. And um, right. And we get ourselves a monkey. Literally, it's a monkey. There's nothing different with it. It's just a monkey. Oh, freaking torched flambe! Oh, it's you guys again. Do I like any version of you? Ow, freaking. It's a thwomp. You really are borrowing ideas since you're Mario World. Mega Man. Oh, I've been Mega Man in my mind recently. Although I think what's up next is probably going to be something very, very different from any game. It's going to be another Ultra Mature game, probably. The shmup. Because I'm meaning to play, or either that or RPG. 
it's been a while, so we, we, we did, uh... Either... I can't, I'm actually deciding, still. I'm about to get hit, aren't I? Oh, no, nope, Gordo missed. Haha. ha Blah. All right, be right back, guys. And I'm back. Oh, I accidentally summoned Gooey. If you press the uh, A button on my uh, N64 controller, uh, Super Nintendo controller, <laughs> I, I, that was a moment of facepalm, you can summon Gooey, which if you had a second controller, which is like uh, I do not, you can actually play two-player. Basically, you can summon Gooey as many times as you want with him not costing any lives. He plays exactly like Kirby. And fun fact, he's actually made of dark matter. He is one of the only known forms of dark matter to actually be redeemed. And, uh, well, other than Kirby himself. Which actually redeemed, and also is not evil. He's... it's pretty interesting, actually. We don't know what he is made of anymore, because he's not... because he's dark matter, but... Not dark matter. He's... He's neutral matter, if anything. Because Kirby's made of light matter, and, uh, and dark, and unless he's, like, a good version of dark matter, a lot of people actually think he's actually, uh, like, there's some people out there, out there who actually think he's the saint that, uh, well, what is it called? He's, uh, dark matter swordsman, but that's not true, because dark matter, because Gooey appeared in Dreamland 2. And one thing about him is interesting is, uh, well, I've, there's a really cool comic that basically that came out a while ago that showed that Gooey was basically a defective dark matter who basically felt normal emotions. But hey, uh, 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 it actually uh, actually felt emotions other than negative, just negative ones. Also, we ran these two. Whoop. Yeah. Gotten and onward and upward into. Second last level of, of Grassland, which is just a fish level, a fish. This fish, in order to get it, we need kind, or to find kind. Let's get clean and get it and give ourselves a broom. This, I think, is one of the better abilities in the game. I'm pretty sure. I have oh Yoshi. Oh God, it's those things again. No, no. Okay, they're not as bad as they were in Dreamland 2. Okay. Okay, never mind, it's not that good. Useful, though, for avoiding enemies. It's like the one, one of the few abilities that gives you the ability to flight. <coughs> Love the look of this game, man. Still one of the best looking Kirby games. Let's say the best looking Kirby game out of all of them is probably the most recent one. Let's see what this one is. Okay, that's. Kine! Wrong ability! Okay, choo choo, get out of here. Kine, I need you, because you need a fish. Let's give you the love you deserve. Let's see if you. Oh, hey, got that got a power boosted. But also weakened. I, I actually like that about the characters. They actually got a bit of buffs. For one, Kine can move on land and sprint on land. Boom. This is no longer just, uh, Kine using an umbrella in front of him. He now fly, but... Hoop. 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 But yeah. So, actually, so we have not seen all of the abilities of the characters in this game. Just because we've played Dreamland 2. Uh, because characters were buffed and nerfed in this game, friends. But Kine is still, uh, in agony, even worse in this game. Jesus. Seriously. What the heck, Nintendo? Why did you animate- or actually, HAL Laboratories, really say? HAL Laboratories, the mad lads they are. Seriously, HAL Laboratories, you were probably one of my favorite game studios of all time. It's kind of funny that two of my favorite gaming series are exact opposites. Oh, and there's a, a lonely fish. You found a friend. 
for love. Is that the Ken's girlfriend or something? Hey. Or just maybe they just need a fish friend. You know what they say, there's always a, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> so, this area. What you say? Alright. Go on the sides and find three objects for him to juggle. Also, there's a spiny shell from from from, from uh, Mario there. I know it's probably called something else, but hey, hey, the spider enemies Let's stab you. Okay, Choo Choo and Rick. Let's use Rick for a bit. So yours is. Ah, well, I want you. Yours is better. Yours actually does really good damage. Actually, just letting you know, this this move is actually really freaking good against bosses. These guys, those spider enemies, won't get an ability until Star Allies in, uh, what, 2016 or something like that? No, it was, it was 2018 that was Star Allies came out. Alright, the big tree area. See these balls? You wanna collect. How? Uh, by the way, arachnophobia warning. On the so both sides of the area. Oh, well, there's a spider. Nah, I'm not afraid of spiders, so just warn you that anyone who is, there's a spider enemy there. Again, I don't find spiders that that scary to me. I find them more interesting, actually. Though if there was a spider next to me, I would probably be freaking out. But not in, like if they're touching, like if they're uh, near me, like right on a screen, I won't freak out. It's like more mainly if like, I have a spider crawling on me or trying to bite me because they know how dangerous they can be. Wow, we're getting up really high. That brew. HP, baby. That seems like actually a secret, actually, just thinking about this. Yep! Knew it. We need to find three objects for for the clown to juggle. I think one's a square, one's a triangle, and the other one's a circle. Go down. Oh, there they are. There's one. R2, I should say. Boop. Boing, boing, boing. Boing, boing. Boing, boing. Boing, boing, boing. Boing, boing. Mash, mash, mash. Get the last of the three. And that's a three down. I also really like how it does. You just get a little jingle when, you, uh, when you're near a, uh, an ability that you need. Thank you, game designers, for being inclusive for... Well, not inclusive, but just for ease of life. Even though I have a guide up just for sake of, uh, gravity. Gravity? Uh, just for the sake of my sanity. Hello, hero guy. Ow, my freaking body. What do you give? Nothing. Yeah, that's all that. Just want to give a test. What are you two? Cool. We never used you in a while. Yeah, I got rid of my spike, my spike ability, so it's not. But hey, it's still cool. Actually, what's Koo's clean ability? Ow. Ah, oh, he's with a feather duster, that's pretty funny. I hear, I, it's basically the closest clue to a sword in this game. Isn't it? She's <laughs> Koo's a feather duster. Do they nerf? How do they nerf, uh. this at all? And they didn't! So, good thing to know, they didn't nerf this at all. Tornado is still busted. I'm just gonna lay a lot to the ability they're basically based off of. This is Tornado, so yeah, Tornado is still busted. Just mash the button, you're immortal. No, the one up, I'll get you! Okay. But I, I want to use stone for a sec to see how this is. Oh, hey, Koo turn also turns, uh, or doesn't turn to stone, but he looks forward. Camera. Like, oh, oh, why did you do this to me? Turning Koo into a fireball, lighting him on fire! Also, he goes at a much longer angle and lasts a lot longer. 
but also doesn't glide over, uh, but also doesn't glide over the ground. Well, guess the ground as much anymore. Let's turn the air of it. I love games. I love game animations, man. And we got all the juggling pieces. Make me able to ju the clown able to juggle happily. <laughs> Who can fly? Why do I why do I need to jump? <laughs> that is a that is a genuine fact. Why do I need to jump? Who can fly? Anyways, and we reveal the next boss. Whisper! Let's fight him. And we just need to beat the boss with with without an ability. Or not without an ability, we just need to beat him with uh with old arts in order to get the heart from him. Grab, grab the eggplant you just spat from his mouth and spit it back at him. And miss entirely. Oh, he hit him in the nose! Hit him with death times in the nose. And phase two starts! Or starts chasing you! Ah! And starts shooting rotten fruit at you. Guess that's Dark Matter's influence at work. Because yes, this is the first instance of Dark Matter corrupting creatures. Dark Matter basically, when it possesses something, not only takes the form, like possesses the creature entirely and controls them, but corrupts them and gives them new abilities. For instance, Wispy Woods being able to walk and also, uh, well, charge and shoot rotten fruit. But with all the hearts we've gotten, we can purge Dark Matter from this land. Let's see you and purge the Dark Matter! All of it! Get out of here! Get, get on out of here! Go back to where you came from. Because that giant orb in the sky is dark matter. Just a giant red ball of dark energy. A black ball of dark energy. But let's head to the next area. To Ripple Field! We went to Ripple Field before. Yeah, these are the same areas from Dreamland 1! Or, uh, or 2. A lot of them are from Dreamland 2. <laughs> wow, only five areas. What the heck? But next time on Let's Play Kirby, this is Dreamland 2. We'll be heading into World 2, Ripple Field. See you guys then. Have a great day. Bye-bye.